A disturbing warning this afternoon from the Food and Drug Administration. Heart patients with certain pacemakers may be at risk from cyber attacks and hackers. That's a huge concern for millions of patients who use pacemakers here in the United States. Our medical expert, Dr. Kevin Campbell, joins us live here in the studio. And first of all, explain the difference between a pacemaker and a, bril a debrilitator. A defibrillator. Why does that say debrilitator? <laughs> Did you write that? I absolutely. I, I put it in the proper. <laughs> so actually, a pacemaker uh, addresses slow heart rhythms. When our heart right. beats too slow, we put in a pacemaker, and it will take over the heart rhythm. If a defibrillator is required, that's because you not only have slow rhythms, but you may have fast, dangerous rhythms, and a defibrillator will actually give you a shock to save your life to make sure you stay alive. All right, so exactly. what puts them at risk and what could a cyber criminal possibly do to a patient with a cardiac pacemaker? So what we found out is that all of these pacemakers made by St. Jude Medical are monitored at home. And there is a vulnerability in the home monitoring system where potentially a a cyber criminal could get into your home monitoring system and could deplete your battery or may reprogram your device. Uh, the company, which has now become Abbott, actually has issued a software patch for this home monitoring system. You know, I want patients to remain connected, however, because it's really, really important that we follow you remotely. Now, we want to make sure people understand, because you do this every day. Mm -hmm. we're, we're talk when you say St. Jude, we're not talking about the hospital. No, this is a private company called St. Jude Medical that was recently acquired by Abbott Laboratories, and they make these devices. Um, there's multiple other vendors out there, mm -hmm. but this one has been determined to have a real security risk by the FDA. That statement came out just a few days ago. So what do you do if you have one and you think you might be at risk? So first of all, talk to your doctor. Make sure that you understand what type of defibrillator or pacemaker mm -hmm. you have. Your home monitoring system will have already automatically uploaded a patch to fix that security problem for that, you. That's good to know. That's absolutely, good to know. absolutely. Important stuff to follow up on. And if you want to just look at this again, just to make sure you've got it, just go to our website. We'll have it there for you. And if you have any other questions or a story you'd like Dr. Please. Campbell to cover, just send us a note. Go to WNCN.com and you'll see the story now.